Removal of the intercooler for cleaning and maintenance consists of shifting the debris deflector, shifting the fuel cooler, removal of the radiator covers, and removal of the intercooler coolant hose and air inlet pipe. We will begin by removing the top two screws holding the bracket of the debris deflector to the suction pipe yoke. Cut the zip tie that holds the brackets to the yoke. Then push the brackets inward and shift the deflector up and away from the intercooler. There are two nuts holding a fuel cooler mounted on the intercooler. We will remove them. and stow the fuel cooler away from the intercooler. We will then remove the six nuts holding the radiator cover and seal plate. After removing the nuts, you can lift and remove the seal plate away from the radiator. We will also remove the two nuts holding the exhaust cover plate to the radiator. After removing the two nuts, Cut the zip ties holding the sensor wire to the plate. Now you can lift and remove the plate. Next, we will loosen the hose clamp on the intercooler coolant hose. With the clamp loose, you can pull the hose off the intercooler. We will do the same for the air inlet pipe on the left side of the intercooler. Cut the zip tie holding the pipe to the hoses. Loosen the pipe clamp. and pull it off the intercooler. Pull the coolant overflow tube off the radiator and stow it out of the way. Now you can remove the top intercooler cover. And you can also remove the top radiator cover. With the covers off, carefully lift the intercooler straight up and out of the engine bay.
Before we clean the intercooler, it is important to cover the inlet pipes to prevent any debris from falling inside of the intercooler. To properly clean the intercooler, use the greaser to spray all the fin channels from the inlet side. Then use a high pressure or high volume of water to flush the intercooler out from the inlet side as well. Before we put the intercooler back, we will cover the coolant hose and air inlet pipe and blow out the radiator from the engine side. To better reach all of the radiator area, we can spin the radiator fan by hand if necessary. Once we finish with the radiator, it is important to ensure the pocket where the intercooler and radiator sit in is clean and clear of all loose debris. Finally, before putting the intercooler back, ensure it has no residual water left in the fins. Here we use compressed air to blow dry all of the fins in the intercooler.